discuss about our um, bladder function. First of all, we have to discuss that we have automatic bladder function, automatic. It works in child, for example. Yeah. So oh. when his urine, uh, when his visit, visitor is uh, full with urine, the urine goes out. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the other thing is that we can think that we want to go to the toilet and also we can stop wanting to go to the toilet and we can wait yes this works by our cortex and our central uh, our so central mecha mechanisms if we talk about the action which goes to take the urine out we can um, separate it to, for two steps, for two steps. One of, this, of them is uh, segmental, segmental, segmental uh, wave, segmental wave. So if we look that we have, uh, um, <coughs> we have two muscles in our vessels, two muscles. Uh, we have musculus detrusor vesice, musculus detrusor vesice, and musculus sphincter, urine, musculus sphincter, urine, musculus detrusor, musculus sphincter. So if the detrusor is activated, the, pull, the tone of this muscle is increased and urine goes out. Yeah? <coughs> if, and, and then we need the relaxation of muscular sphincter. It opens the sphincter and urine goes out. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the first uh, component of this two, of this weight, is that on, we have afferental cells, afferental path of it, the cells, which are situated in uh, uh, ganglion spinale S1, S3 ganglion spinale afferental path S1, S3 S1, S3 here it is here are the receptors of musculus detrusor it's on the bottom of the pesice. Here are the receptors. So as we, when we feel that our pesice is full of urine, yes, the receptors <coughs> they recognize that the pressure in your in pesice is upgraded, and then the the afferental waves start to work. So here is ganglion spinale S1, S3, okay? Then it goes through the back horn of the spinal cord. It goes in. It connects with the modern neurons, modern neurons in the, in, uh, in the front horn. Here are modern neurons. In an afferental path goes. Goes where? To another? Ganglion. This is parasympathicus ganglion. And then it goes to the muscle and it constructs. Okay? So, and we try to. This is the segmental part. Segmental. Okay? Uh, then, uh, if we look at it. Um, At sympathetical, this is parasympathetic. Parasympathetic, yeah. If we go, if we look at um, sympathetical, it works a little bit another way. If we look at sympathetical. It works for muscular sphincter in 
internal. Let's go to spiritual. Internal. This is external. This is internal. Let's go to spiritual. Green. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And this is connected with sympathetical track. So it goes through ganglion. So the the receptor part also receptor. <coughs> sorry. Afferent path goes also again from this to back columns. To back col columns. But to first, uh, uh, front horns. But then it goes to the other neurons, which connect with sympathetic, which are sympathetic neurons. They go to lateral horns. You know that sympathetic neurons are located in, in lateral horns, yeah? And they, through their ganglion, go to muscle sphincter. And this work together with sympathetic and parasympathetic allows us to flow the urine out from the deficit. Mm -hmm. Okay? But this means this is automatic, like it's segmental, automatic function for kids, for example. But if we want to stop wanting to go to the toilet, we, we want to wait, we have to activate our cortex. So we have pathways which goes up from the spinal cord to the brain. There we have our also centers which recognize the, sig the signals from our vesicle that we want to go to the toilet. It goes upper to the cortex. It goes upper to the cortex. And then we can think about it and we can stop our willings to go to the toilet. Okay? So we have segmental and not upper segmental parts of these connections. Segmental, just automatic work. Upper, then segmental, our thinking, our higher function that we can go to the toilet if we doesn't want, but we can do it. And we can wait and not go to the toilet. The same is for bowel function, but the difference is that our musculus rectus and our uh, rectal part of the intestinal of our intestinal of our colon of our colon, our last part, rectal part of it. We don't have muscles there. The same is musculus detrusor. We don't have them. So our rectal part of the column, column, it's just a bowel. It's just a bag where everything collects. And so if we want to go to the toilet and evacuate everything from our rectal part, we have to construct our muscles abdominal. Okay? We construct it and then it goes out. But segmental part, we have this seam, and here is 